you've kept me waiting. I am not a fan of being kept waiting. And that is the attitude we all expect from the Corpus. Well, prices rise all the time. Especially when I'm having to be kept waiting. So, what can I do for you, Tenno? Information about a specific relay tower in the Void. What makes you think that I know anything about the Void? Because I hacked into your personal mainframe and know that you accessed the tower through a Void portal in a derelict Oricon ship. Damn it. I was told no one knew about that tower. And who told you that? I have no interest in selling out my, uh, associates. Tell me, Maylock, have you ever heard of the Red Veil? They're an interesting group, colonists, who feel the solar system needs to be reset. I do believe loathe is a good word for how they feel about the Corpus Sanguinaire. In fact, I'm sure they'd appreciate inside information about the Board of Executives. Are you threatening me? If you don't tell me who got you to the tower, I'll drag you to the Red Veil vale and chain you to their operating table myself. Well, that escalated quickly. Alright, fine. The Ash of your clan informed me of the coordinates to the tower and provided access to get aboard. Ash? You'd have me believe that so blindly? You're the one who hacked my mainframe. Just check the data uploads and security logs from the Karm Extractor Complex. There's your evidence. You have it. Fine. Let's say I believe you. Why would he send you there? All I was told was to copy the tower's data from the central mainframe. Just to make it clear, Maylock, I have no intention of there being bad blood between the Tenno and yourself. I was very recently a captive on Phobos in the Grenier prison of Monolith. If you hurry there, I'm sure you would find it still vacant from a recent Tenno attack. You should find some useful information there, Dassel. Sir, I have further news of Oberon. Excellent. You managed to bring him in. I'm afraid not, sir. How very... uncharacteristic of you, Ash. Very well. Make your report. It took some time, but I followed his Lissette's Ion Trail to Europa. His ship was still in low orbit when I arrived, so I believed he was still in the vicinity. Upon searching for life signs, I couldn't find his, but I did find that of a corpus along with an active thermal regulator. And? I found Oberon conversing with the corpus. It was the information broker, Maylock. Maylock? What could Oberon possibly meet with that corpus about? I don't know, sir. All they did was talk. I hardly believe one of our own would simply meet with a corpus to exchange pleasantries. Sir, are you proposing that Oberon may be selling secrets to the Corpus? I do not like to speculate, but this seriously complicates matters. Where is Oberon now? Apologies, sir. Upon returning to my ship, I couldn't find any presence of Oberon in orbit. He may well have discovered me on his trail and fled, leaving no trace. Hmm. You did the right thing in bringing me this information. Come, Ash. I must consult with Master Frost. Greetings, Master. I have come seeking your counsel. I believe I promoted you so I would not have to deal with interruptions. 
Another of your pupils, Oberon, has been found to be consorting with the Corpus. I know not the details, but I suspect he has betrayed us and is selling secrets to the enemy. You would waste my time with this? Go there as you see. Wait. Oberon. Wasn't he at the tower when... He was part of the project team. Well, well. So maybe we have finally found our answer. Bring him before us, and we'll find the truth in this matter. It will be done. What did the Master have to say? Oberon needs to answer for his actions. If he is selling secrets to the Corpus, then he threatens the operations of every Tenno within this clan. He can't be allowed to continue his decadent ways. Yes, sir. Right. I can see the target now. Both of you form up on me and we'll break through their heat exchange manifold. Wait! How the heck do you fly this thing? By using your own inertial forces and by moving your abdomen. The harness will interpret your intentions by a gesture recognition and thus allow you to move in three-dimensional space. Right. Now, I followed that completely, but let's see if Banshee understood. Basically, just move your body around and you'll fly because the archwing detects certain positions to mean different things. See? I'm glad you understood. Did you not pay attention in your archwing training? I was stuck underground with a reactor for two years with a gibbering lunatic. When do you think I've got any kind of training? Oh, hey, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Good. Let's get a move on. <laughs>